Salutations everyone, this is Razor giving you a domination gameplay on the map Drone today using the M27 assault rifle uh, with fast mags and adjustable stock as per usual. Same old perk loadout and I got the VSAT at the load star and the Kujos running them like a boss here on some drone which is not a map you get very many gameplays on. Um, first of all, it doesn't very show up very often in the map rotation, especially for Domination, which I'm very thankful for because uh, a, a lot of people really, really despise this map. And the only time I really, really hate I mean, I don't think it's a good map overall. I find it very boring and uh, very colored. There's not very much action. It's just mainly, oh, this guy's camping in this spot. I have to go kill where that camper was time and time again with a different camping spot every time. Um, but, uh, what really makes this map suffer is, uh, on Domination, when you have snipers camping on the helipad, and the, the entire match, which is one of the very few instances where you can have a team with terrible players, uh, compete with a team of really good players, which is not what happened here. I also, spoiler alert, there were no people, uh, sniping uh, in the trees at C or on the helipad uh, at A. Uh, but when that does happen, which is quite, quite often, it's, it's uh, not a very fun experience um, because it takes absolutely no skill. Uh, they're very, very overpowered positions that look down the majority of the map and you could control a B flag without moving. Um, from from either side, uh, the helipad is more advantageous because there's a, it, I don't know, it's just it's there's more area to be in. But I find hiding in the trees at sea is a little more annoying because they're harder to see uh, as well. Um, but it's one of the very few uh, places where you don't need to have any sort of talent or gun skill whatsoever in order to be a good team in domination which is not that doesn't happen very often uh i I've, I've ran into this um just just once but it uh, really uh highlights the fact that this map is very much flawed when it comes to uh you know camping spots and the b flag is just so hard to uh to defend if you're not camping on one of those spots and usually there's going to be you know three or four people camping on the helipad or in the trees at sea and it's really annoying but thankfully that was not happening here otherwise i probably wouldn't have been able to get a gameplay um but i uh, ran out of ammo with that m27 because i am bringing you a flawless gameplay today uh my first flawless in black ops 2 uh, at least with this many kills, you know, who hasn't, you know, gone 5-0 and in a search and destroy by just, you know, completely destroying the other team in a, in a four-game sweep. But this is a, a full-length domination game, and we had a lot of uh, lot of kids dashboarding, a lot of kids leaving. And I got the Orbital V set up, and usually after two Orbital V sets get called in is when most people will dashboard, because there's like, ah, we just got through a V set, now another one. And so they'll build this dashboard, which, once again, don't really understand, you know. Uh, take your lumps, kids. Uh, you deserve to get pwned when someone's better at you as a silly video game. There's no reason to just up and quit like a pouty toddler. Um, but we're, we're completely dominating this team. We've got the triple cap going. Uh, just running from spawn to spawn. Uh, Dorito hunting, as I like to call. Finding these nacho cheese motherfuckers on the UAV. Uh, thanks to the Orbital V set, uh, which has run out at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up base in here next to this good old little ficus tree and then just, uh, uh, what you call it, load stars some people, reap them like cray cray. And uh, the drone is uh, not a very good map for, for load stars, mainly because of the large building in the middle uh, blocks a lot of the map in order to shoot your missiles, and also that's where most people are going to be spawning. Uh, which is this guy's hiding underground. Smart play by him, but oh, this guy thought he was safe, and he was because the Lodestar missiles will catch on every little thing, every little tree branch. And if you're ever wanting to shoot down a Lodestar, just take cover near a tree. It doesn't have to be under the tree or next to it. You just got to be near it, and that Lodestar missile will catch that those leaves somehow. I don't know what's so impenetrably strong about leaves in this game, 
Um, but they're very, very strong. Just shooting a corpse there for shits and giggles. Um, we're just hunting uh, one or two kids at this point. It, it is two, and then I think it goes down to one. I still have this M27 that I picked up the ACOG, but that's all right because the round is over, so I'll be able to get my original M good old M27 back, which my teammates using right here. Pretty snazzy. Gonna go ahead and get and defend on the B flag. Uh, but drone, pretty shitty map, um, especially with the camping spots on the helipad and the the trees, which is the way most people like to play this game. Uh, which is especially annoying in domination, but thankfully that is uh, not what happened here. We're just uh, Dorito hunting and smacking fools, and I'm going flawless with the M27, which is I still feel is an underrated gun. Uh, not, I still don't see very many people using it. Whenever I do, it's some camper with a red dot and a silencer. Um, just, just fast mags and it's just full stop, guys. This is... Uh, a powerful combination that is is really hard to beat because it's got no recoil whatsoever and it's very versatile uh it doesn't have that great of a hip fire granted but that's not something you really need to worry about with assault rifles anyway just gonna go ahead and wait out a host migration here which happens all the freaking time uh more so in black ops 2 than any other game because they just give any one host, regardless of their connection and how shitty they are at the game. Uh, about 99% of the time, the enemy team will get host, unfortunately. Um, I think not only does it have something to do... I don't know why we couldn't capture A-Flag here. Some weird glitch was going on because the entire enemy team is gone. And we're just like, the fuck? Why can't we get A? This is crazy. And then we're finally able to catch it. A little bit of a glitch there, but we're going to go back to nacho cheese hunting here in a little bit. Also got another Lodestar in my back pocket. There's dogs running around. They don't know what the fuck to do because all these enemies are getting killed. But if you guys could do me a favor, uh, you know, maybe hit that like button or, you know, leave some comments. I don't know why that my channel hasn't been getting as many views as it has been in the past the past couple days. I don't know if it's something to do with YouTube or if people just aren't clicking on my videos, but... If you enjoy my content and feel that other people would as well, you know, there's some buttons that can hopefully, you know, speed that process along, ideally. Um, but, you know, otherwise, if you want to tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right, what you like better about some of my videos more than others, that I'm also appreciative of those sorts of uh, constructive comments. So, positive or negative, you can go ahead and leave those at the bottom. If you enjoy this video at all, or if you feel like you gotta say something to raise the 13, and he's like, he needs to know this shit. But uh, we completely just trounced the competition. Our domination score wasn't as uh, large of a gap as we would like it to be. Um, but just the, uh, the, the, the way that the map is situated, it's really easy if we're triple capping for the teams to get A and C just because of the amount of cover that they have. But final score here is 35-0 and 0 with four captures and six defends. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.